What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a first look on the brand new Pro XR paddles. Now, the first thing I have to say, because Zane decided to egg this on. Our main goal with this paddle was to make Chris Olsen happy with the design. We simplified the look a little bit and we've got these really cool lines that actually go onto the edge guard. I gotta give you guys props. This one's not ugly this year. Last year's was uh, pretty terrible, so. Gotta give you guys props, you did a much better job on the design this year. In all seriousness, it really is significantly cleaner and I actually really like how this one looks this year. Now next thing, if you guys do plan to pick one of these up, you can use code PBSTUDIO and that'll shave $20 off the price, bringing it down from $210 to $190. Now I also have to give ProXR props on the marketing specs of these paddles because they really didn't advertise almost anything changing with these paddles. And now on the surface, you're like, well, that doesn't seem great. But other companies who would have had a release like this probably would have tried to spin it into some crazy marketing release. We've all seen it before where they add like a new color, they make it more head heavy or something, and they're like, the new balance point is 20% higher and the ultraviolet pink color will add 20% more. All these stupid things to that. So I have to give ProXR props for not leaning into that. They basically just told it how it is. So really all that changed is the balance point went up and the swing weights are now higher. So I just wanted to pop in here really quick. If you're looking at the specs on screen right now, you will probably hear us in the video say that Zane's paddle has a swing weight of about 123 or so, but I actually have three models. And after we finished this, I checked all three and the swing weights are kind of all over the place. So one of them was 116, another one was about 119, and then another one was 122. Now, of course, it's expected that swing weight will vary, just like weight varies on a paddle, but I haven't often seen a spread this large, particularly when a company sends me multiple units. Usually it's maybe two or three points, so I don't really know what to tell you guys the swing weight is. All I can tell you is that my heaviest swing weight weighed 8.3 ounces and the lowest one weighed about 8.1 ounces. Also really quick on the website, it says the pink and white ones weigh roughly 7.7 .7 ounces and then the other models weigh 8.2 ounces. But what's funny is my pink and white signature 13 millimeters were actually the heaviest swing weight ones. And the white one was the one that weighed 8.3 ounces. And then Zane's signature 13 millimeter was the one that was 116. So I don't know if they're just completely guessing or if I got ones that were just way heavier, but just keep it in mind. Which means the balance point is also higher than last year, which is gonna give you more plow through, which in my opinion, was the biggest problem with the paddle last year. It was one of the lowest balance points on the market, which if you liked really headlight paddles, that was awesome. But if you didn't and really wanted some stability in the head, that wasn't great. So now they have that and that's really about all that's changed. Now the other thing is they've added a 16 millimeter version of Zane's paddle, which I think is a very welcome addition and I was surprised they didn't do it last year. So it's really nice to see that as well. Okay, so we finished play testing these paddles and honestly, I think these are pretty much just a definitive upgrade from last year's models. I was not a fan of the Zane Pro XR last year. I just felt like it had certain traits going for it, like being really headlight and the swing weight was really low for an elongated, but that came at the expense of a lack of power and it just really didn't plow through the ball very well. So also the sweet spot size was not that great, but this year, the main thing is that they shifted the balance up so there's more weight in the head, which gives it more plow through, increases the swing weight. Now those elongated ones are hovering about like 119 to 123 is what it seems for both the 13 and the 16 millimeter. So I thought those were a lot nicer. Honestly, I think if you liked last year's but you just wanted more plow through, that's exactly what Zane's is. And now the new 16 millimeter, I also like that quite a bit. If I was gonna play one, that's probably the one I would play, but I honestly didn't mind Zane's, especially if you slapped a little bit of lead on the sides of it. And then the only thing I will say about all of the 16 millimeter models, and this applies to the Sweet Spot Max, it applies to the Signature 16, for some reason, their handles are extremely blocky. The 13s are all fine, but if you pick up a 16, it's almost completely square. And we'll flash some videos on screen so you can see that, but the bevels are not very defined. It feels very just square. If you hold one, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so first opinion on the Pro XR 13 
Zane paddle. Really like the shape of this paddle. The taper of the neck is great for a two-handed backhand. I can fit both my hands on this handle very comfortably, which I really like about this paddle. One thing I will say is the stability slash sweet spot of this paddle is extremely poor stock. It, it, the dead spots are so pronounced for me. I mean, even just dinking at the kitchen, if I didn't hit it close to the center, the paddle just died and went straight into the net. We were both struggling today dinking with this paddle. I did throw a bunch of tungsten at the bottom of this. I don't know what it's weighted up to now, but it felt significantly better. Drives, drops were amazing with this. The spin is great. Everyone talks about the Pro XR spin being really good. This one felt really nice. If I had to choose between this or the 16, I would prefer the 16. Felt a lot better, just a plusher feel, but it didn't really feel like I sacrificed a ton of power with the 16. Just gave me way more feel on my drops and my returns. Now, as far as the Sweet Spot Max goes, I wasn't really that interested in these, though I have been starting to like the standard shape more. I honestly ended up liking these quite a bit. I don't think there's really anything to dislike. I haven't ran the uh, stats on these yet. I'll pop them up on screen so you can see it. But even the 13 millimeter Sweet Spot Max, I thought had a great sweet spot. It felt really nice. It's quick in the hand, the pop off it was nice. And then the 16 millimeter just feels like a resetting machine. I would put both of them probably in about an all court category. The 16 millimeter might be all court leaning toward control but they're both really solid overall. If you wanted a little bit more offense, you would choose the 13, because even with it being a 13, this shape I think is just giving it a lot of uh, extra ability to reset and not feel terrible. Some 13 millimeters are just not good. I don't think these had that problem. So if you're a fan of standard shapes, I like these quite a bit. I think these are really nice, and honestly, I'd be curious to see these compared to other standard shape paddles. So there you guys go. Honestly, I think these are just definitively better versions of the models last year. They have more plow through, the pop feels better. They just feel more solid as they go through the ball. Still has that same grit that Pro XR is known for. So if that's what you were looking for or felt last year's was missing, then I think these are great. Now, if you were a huge fan of that headlight balance and being a really low swing weight for an elongated paddle, then I'm sorry to tell you these are noticeably heavier now. And for some of you, that might be a downgrade. But honestly, I think for most people, these are going to be the better option. It's not a groundbreaking update or any fancy new technology that people need to rush out and buy. It's kind of just a small refinement of last year's model that I think is a welcome addition. So there you guys go. We'll catch you in the next one.